Hello Dreamers! For lunch today I'm making a really nice salad and I'm taking you along to see how I do it. I'm starting out with a bowl of greens from my garden. I have bib lettuce and butter crunch lettuce and arugula and a little bit of spinach in there. Okay, to that I'm going to add some broccoli and cauliflower florets. I love the crunch of cauliflower in a salad. And it's got such a mild flavor that you just get a lovely mild crunch with the taste of whatever dressing you put on it. I have celery, bite-sized pieces of celery. And I have the uh, quattro colored peppers, not tricolored, but quattro. I have yellow peppers and red peppers and orange peppers and green peppers. Now it's too early in the year. It's only early June here <coughs> in zone 7B. Too early in the year for me to have peppers from my garden. So these are from the store. It is the right time to have radishes from the garden, however, and I have sliced radishes. Add a little bite and zing. And not everyone likes cabbage in their uh, green salads, but I do. I like cabbage in my salad, so I'm adding some cabbage. And these onions are from my garden. These are green onions from my Egyptian walking onions. I picked this morning and I'm adding some nice grape tomatoes for color and taste. Cucumbers. I'll be glad when the tomatoes are from my garden. I've got a lot of them planted out there. I've got all kinds of heirloom tomatoes, both the large kind and the cherries and the grape sizes. So I should have quite a few for salads and for canning and cooking <clears throat> when the garden comes in. And also for extra accoutrements I have chickpeas. I enjoy chickpeas and it adds some amino acids to build protein. And here I have one tablespoon each of uh, raisins, chopped walnuts, and sunflower seeds. So I'll put those in there. And we'll give them a toss. Oh, it looks so pretty. All the colors. I've got a ton of peppers planted in the garden, too. All different colors and kinds. And hot ones and sweet ones. And they, my garden usually does really well with peppers. So I should have an abundance of them to carry over for the winter. I'm really hoping my garden's a success this year. And I can do a lot of canning. Okay, I'm going to plate this up for my lunch. Now, if you wanted to, you could add <coughs> some meat or cheese, but I need to lose some weight, so I'm going to try and stay away from that. Ah. Okay, we'll make sure we get all the colors represented here, all the flavors with peppers, chickpeas, and cauliflower. Oh, I forgot carrots. Okay, pretend I put carrots in here because I definitely will add them. Yeah. Okay, big salad. Now for the dressing, well before I get to the dressing, I'll show you a topping I'm going to make. Right, these strawberries are from my garden. So I'm going to put some sliced strawberries on top. Mmm, doesn't this look yummy? Okay, sliced strawberries. Lots of them. Yeah. And then for a dressing, a little earlier on video, I made this strawberry vinaigrette. And if you want to see how to do that, you can look for the separate video. 
So I'm going to drizzle a little bit of that on here. Strawberry vinaigrette. I try not to eat too much dressing because again I'm trying to lose some weight. So I just put a teaspoon or so on and mix it up. Just drizzling a little bit at a time. Should be strong enough Well, that would be enough taste. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, there you have it. My luncheon salad with fruit and nuts and all kinds of good things that can come from the garden. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.